you were down, you were depleted, you were emotional, your crutches were ripped out under you, and then maybe you smoked a joint and that really just took you down a little bit and you just had a friggin' panic attack. You know, these emotional episodes, just a, a losing a, one you love or you think you love and uh, your attachments ripped out from under you and suddenly all your images of what you had is torn away and now you're stuck with yourself again. Uh, people do freak out. That's why you have to get to yourself. You, you're the only living reality as I'm just talking. And it's funny how these cases flow here pretty good like this. And this is what I'm saying because you, 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 you being young anyway, uh, you're going to already have adrenal gland weaknesses. I mean, it's just in the mix. Uh, I, 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 I think I can make that statement and be pretty, pretty close to accurate that we're having tremendous adrenal weaknesses genetically. So already uh, the nervous systems of the younger people are involved. So these traumatic experiences like relationships and stuff breaking up can really pay its toll. So they're, they, they, they're, they lose reality. Well, this is where you have the opportunity to make this thing your own where you start focusing on yourself. Spend time with yourself, alone with yourself, love yourself. Don't put a definition on what yourself is. It's not a body, it's not a head, it's not bowels and, and, and glands. No, it's consciousness, it's awareness, it's allness. You can't almost define what you are. You can only be what you are. So I would just start, you're already separate uh, 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 and seeing your world as isolated. So understand that, get into that self. And realize that yourself is just like every other self out there. there. There's there's no one that's different from the soul perspective. We're all consciousness. So if you pull yourself to those higher levels of beingness, stop thinking, stop playing, don't worry about what's going on. Don't worry about you being different or feeling different right now. Drop all these kind of thoughts of conditions. Uh, as I, I, I'm not in the real world. Drop all of the, the separation that you have and just be real. Be in the moment. Just live every moment for that moment. Don't think about the past. Don't think about your relationship. Don't work yourself to being in the now. Stop the mind for a while. Set everything to the side. Spend time with yourself. Connect to yourself. When you do that, put yourself in some house uh, for two or three weeks. Throw the TV out. Throw the music out. Don't even listen to music. Listen to yourself. Sit and spend time with yourself. Appreciate yourself. Look at nature. If you have to take little walks through the woods away from any other humans, whatever you have to do to spend time with yourself, to love yourself for actually having consciousness. You have to because you're here. That means you're real. Not your bodies, not your emotions. This Everything's always in flux in creation. One minute she's here, one minute she's gone. One minute my dog's here, the next minute he's gone. You can't, if you, if the more attached you become to the outside world, and the problem with that is when you're emotionally weak, you can tend to be more latching on to things. We do that. We smoke. We, we drink. We do whatever. We, we have crutches. You don't need any crutches. You don't need any. I don't even need that phone. <laughs> so you don't need any crutches. You don't need anything like that that would support you because you are the end all. The buck stops with you. And if you can get yourself, that's all you need. Then you set up your own rules of the game. How do you want to live life? You use your experiences. Don't have a bad experience dictate your next experiences. Just realize that you're, on, you're not feeling her. You're feeling your own pain. She, it doesn't matter if someone comes into your world and leaves your world. The less you're solid and the less you're with yourself, the more pain you're going to feel because you are not whole. You, you, didn't, you were whole spiritually. So someone came in your life, you, you absorbed yourself into that person and then that person left and left you void. Your whole world was torn apart. The problem is, is that no, it wasn't. Your attachment was ripped from you. And now there's a void because your attachment filled what you thought was a void. It was a void of you. You did not know yourself that well. And that's the problem. When we're born in this world, we're taught to externalize our attention. And that's why you see meditation in India and, and a lot of the places, and you're going within. The old saying, you've got to go within to get out. You don't have to, but you have to first learn the difference between you and all your bodies you're using to experience creation. 
we must at this juncture on this planet get up out of religious control and get into spirituality where we actually can love everybody and we don't have to fight each other because of our differences. We can love our differences. So you got to get your adrenals up. This is a good, good chance to get an adrenal glandular. I have to tell you, this would be a good case for adrenal glandular. Get your adrenals up, get your kidneys, start moving your lymph because you know that's backing up. Started getting worse the more I dealt with a roommate who baked the room with THC. Well, these are all neurotoxins for yourself, and you're going to be real sensitive to neurotoxins. You're going to have to spend some time away from all that, so you're not continually inhaling neurotoxins, because it's just going to make you weak and vulnerable, and you want to get strong with the self. So you're an individual, and nothing can take you from that center core. Nobody, no fear, no nothing. Because nothing can hurt you. Nothing can touch you. Take my body. I don't care. I'll be free. You know, that sort of thing. One morning I woke up and started seeing static in the darkness everywhere. Well, I mean, you could be seeing, uh, you know, the different uh, magnetic frequencies flowing around. Absolutely. Um, the big was uh, psychologically abusive and played loud music. Well, you had a sucky roommate, that's for sure. One morning I woke up and started, yeah, I felt like the ground was going to swell. Yeah, you, you definitely needed to get grounded in a better way. And sometimes, I hate to say this, but there are some people so whacked out that I do try to ground you some more. And unfortunately, you can get that way on raw. If you're not stable, you're not bringing up your adrenals, and you're just doing the raw fruits and stuff, you can get way out there. And sometimes i got to bring your butt back and put your feet on the ground. And sometimes I've even told people to go eat a piece of meat. Get your feet on the ground to stabilize because you can get, you know, you've got to do this and maintain control. If not, you're going to get real trippy and very um, psycho uh, uh, problems, you know, really uh, uh, mental health issues. And you just, you just, uh, you want, you want to be the controller of all these things and stay stable. Whatever it takes to stay stable while you're growing spiritually and connecting to yourself. Health-wise, get into the endocrine glands. Make them healthy. Get your lymph moving. Things like that. Get on the raw. I'd probably have some uh, vegetables at night. To go slow a little bit as you go through this. Probably do you better. And uh, stay grounded. Uh, go, 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 go wrap yourself around nature a little bit. Get rid of the music. Get rid of all that stuff. Get quiet peaceful. Get away from noise pollution. Go to the beach. Go to the woods. Hug a tree. Kiss a flower. Uh, love an animal. Uh, do all these things to ground yourself and bring yourself into the joy and love of creation. What type of diet? Absolutely. Uh, YouTube search for the most recent update on depersonalization videos. Showed your video on your backup channel. I've started regular therapy soon and really want to make... Yeah, follow all those things. Uh, my cousins recommended the China study. Now, just go, just go what we're talking about on the side here. Uh, fruits, berries, and melons through the day and a salad at night. And if you feel like that's too pure and too energetic right now, then have a salad, do your fruit breakfast, salad at lunch, and a little salad with some steamed vegetables at night. If you want to ground yourself a little more, have something grown under the ground like a sweet potato or something, and that'll ground you just a little bit more, and it'll keep some grounding going on. You're going to have to get yourself back, and it's only you that can do this, not a therapist. It's only you. You're the key. You're the doorway. Not your mind, not your emotions. Get to the you, the real you, and then you can work backwards and take care of the bodies and uh, get them healthier and stuff like that. Uh, this is from Mother Nature Heals. I just love this, the, the beauty of that icon. I just love that. It just, and it's just so true. I love your name there. I simply love your laugh. Oh, thanks. I don't know. It's just, uh, there's, sometimes I get a little whacked out here, but thanks a lot, dear one. And I just love your beauty. It shows a lot of your inner beauty, too. In VR true late. When I had chronic bronchitis and sinusitis, 
My docs knew enough to tell me that I would not get better as long as I lived in the Los Angeles area. Yeah, well, that's that constant irritation from the acid air. I mean, L.A. is one of the top acid airs in the country now, and uh, very serious. Remember, I told you there was a warning there of 70-year-old people to move out because of lung cancer. So, very serious issue uh, we're having with pollution, and it's getting more serious. The problem is, is that we're all involved with it. Uh, and that, that gets very serious and scary because it's global air. And that's why, you know, our air is most polluting air. There's a lot of countries that just pollute the air, and we're one of them. I just don't think that's fair. I moved to the Oregon coast, better. Got years of allergy shots, oh, not so good. They're all suppressive in nature, and got better, but I still don't solve the mucus problem. Because you have to expect it, right? You have to clean your lymph system. That's how you solve the mucus problem. Now, it's true that what irritates the mucosa causes mucus. That's where the L.A. problem or, or any breathing things that are acidic or irritants can stimulate that. Even hot peppers too much can stimulate the mucosa. So don't try to stimulate the mucosa with too hot of peppers. I'd stay off of everything hot. I would go back to just fruits, berries, and melons and start cleaning my lymph system out, get all this mucus out of me, and then go back. Fix your kidneys so you can filter this mucus out and uh, really start tearing it up like we're talking about on this channel, and you get your health back. You get all that mucus out of you there. Um, got years of it. Let me see, but I still don't solve the mucus. I'm Till I got off of grains and dairy. Well, that was a good take. Absolutely. Get, uh, I mean, dairy is a constant mucus producer, and of course, starch, gluten, definitely not good. In only about eight months, I can sleep without choking all night. Doc said I would always have a mucus problem. I want to prove him wrong. Yeah, absolutely. You're not going to always have a mucus problem. What do that say? What's that guy thinking? Tell your doc to learn detoxification, and he'll be a good doc. Uh, this is uh, uh, Tok Tok. Oh, don't ask me. I'm a country boy. Uh, T O K T O K I F A N. Thanks for the comment there, my friend. Uh, I can't find a piece of uncertainty in you. Know, I hope not. So, therefore, I adore the channel, you and your people. Thanks a lot there, guys. I really appreciate that. I mean, you separate the intellect. Uh, out and you keep life simple and you spiritually connect to yourself and you get take time I, I I've, I've been a hermit I spent time locked myself away in houses and, and just sat down and forced myself to accept myself and to love myself for what I am spiritually you don't have to you know you might have a body out of shape and I've never always liked my body because I always fought weight or fought this and fought that and like all oh, these damn bodies again but it's not who I am it's what I'm using same with all of you we're using our bodies to experience get them in shape enjoy the ride but always don't forget who you are because it's a bigger ride and it's a bigger bull to ride the higher you get into these God worlds. And the joy and, and nirvanic experiences are unbelievable. The, the, uh, the God worlds, we're, think about this. You're sitting on a planet that's considered hell by a lot of spiritual giants. This world is considered part of the ash can of the universe. And uh, on the God worlds, and it's a very uh, thick, claustrophobic uh constipated level to be at when you get into the higher God worlds where thought manifests like that. Uh, this is very constipated level. So you'll see. Anyway, love you all. Thank you for taking your, your, your precious time to view these videos and to learn and grow. I hope that this uh, finds you all well or all getting well and we'll always be here to help you all. So uh, try to have a good day, connect with yourselves, forget the troubles, and enjoy the beauty of the now. Namaste, and have a great day. Bye-bye.